Hey guys, it's Annie Margarita Yang back with another Annie Yang financial video for you today. Today, I will be doing an honest review of Profile Bakery, which is the ninth review in a series of 23 AI headshot generators. The whole reason why I'm doing this series is because I will be giving talks at colleges and universities. And one of the issues that college students have is that they cannot afford to pay $300 to $500 for a professional headshot for their LinkedIn profile. And these days, if you want to land a job quickly, one of the things that you need to have on your profile is a professional looking headshot because basically you need to put your best foot forward in everything. You have to look the part that you want to get. And one of those is the headshot. Um, but because college students and a lot of people can't afford to pay $300 to $500 for a headshot, I'm thinking, you know, what if there is a much more affordable solution using AI where you can upload pictures of yourself and out pops this professional looking photo of you. So that's why I'm doing all of these different reviews because I want to see basically for myself, because if I'm going to recommend something, I have to try the service myself and really believe in it. I don't take sponsorships. And I want to just basically try all 23 of the ones that came up as the top top ones on a Bing search and, and really see which one is the best um, which one resembles me the most, which one looks natural and the most realistic. So today, let's go ahead and try Profile Bakery. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. It wants six to 15. Might as well just upload all of these, right? Let's see. Now upload one picture where your face is clearly visible. We will use this as your baseline for your facial expression. Okay, I will use uh, this one. The one that I use as my headshot on every social media profile right now. I am a woman. I'm going to get the most expensive one because I really want to see what this software can do. Recommended upgrades. Background change. Let's see. No, it's okay. I don't I don't need this. AI dating. Yeah, no thanks. Wow, this, this one is like really trying to upsell me. You can take any of your pictures and just get the background changed. But the thing is, you can change the background with, um, with Photoshop. There is this feature in Photoshop, literally, where you just click remove background and it will just take the background very cleanly off of it. So I don't understand what this means. I don't want to profit. Okay, <laughs> this site has English problems. Let's see. Okay. How did I hear about you? Other. Is that the one? $69? Yep, that's the one. Okay. All right, I will see you guys in a few seconds because I don't want you to know my credit card info. 
So it says here that the photos will be ready in three hours. So I'll wait three hours, but you don't have to wait three hours. Be right back in just a few seconds. Okay, guys, I am back. Just got this email that Profile Bakery is ready. And this one in particular looks like they give my photos in a Google Drive. That's interesting. Uh, because we baked enough, we're giving you a bunch of additional photos as goodie. How many did I sign up for? Let's see. I bought 98 photos with the $69 plan. How many additional did they give me? I'm not really sure. Let's see. It's telling me that with AI photos, only two to five are actually usable. So apparently that's normal. Maybe my standards are quite high. I expect more photos to be uh, similar to my face than two to five in any given batch. And it also says that when checking the photos, remember they're in a very small format. In a larger format, you will always find flaws with AI pictures such as wrinkles, moles that don't match, etc. But we always look at ourselves very critically. I agree with that. I think maybe I have been very critical of some of these AI headshot generators. Others don't perceive you the way you see yourself. So ask someone for unbiased feedback in the final format. That, well, that's why I keep having to ask my husband, does this look like me? Because... I don't see myself with a really objective eye. Okay, so they are giving me my original that I had uploaded, I'm assuming. Yep, and then what's this file? CV, <laughs> they're giving me a free CV template, which isn't much anyway. Well, well, that's a sneak peek of what I look like. That's interesting, let's take a look. Let's see how this goes. Um, there's no easy way for me to view all of these. There's so many of them. I hope there's an arrow when I full screen them. Okay. I can't view this. Okay. Uh, that's a no. That looks like I've got attitude. Um, I wouldn't use it. Something, um, maybe I'm critical, like it says, but like, I don't really like the eye contact and the lips don't match mine. I have bigger lips than that. Maybe I have to look at this from afar and, and like move back a bit. Doesn't look like me. Maybe. No. No. Mm, no. No. No, definitely not. No. No. Nope. Maybe? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, maybe? Uh, but, but the other, you know, generators I've used have had a lot more similar looking results than these. This is a definite no. Could be a maybe. No. 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 I'm looking at these pictures one by one. Huh? Are you speaking to someone? I'm recording right now. Okay. This is a no. No. So bad. What? Did 
this one looks a little bit like me. Let's see. No. For some reason, all of these pictures, over and over again, it it likes to give this like really angular eyebrow here at the especially at the top. It really likes to make that. But my real eyebrows are not like that in real life. What did this look like? <sighs> no. Kinda looks like me. Kinda does, but I think that's why they say in a given batch only two to five will end up maybe. Sometimes I look like that when I just get out of bed and I don't wear my makeup. <laughs> uh no. No. Oh, is this thing on repeat or what? Have I seen these already? I can't tell. No. Maybe. Half-half. Uh, mm, Half-half. Mm, Let's see. No. 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 Mm. Nope. 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 Okay, that's the last one. Yeah. So, like it said, only two to five have some resemblance out of the whole entire batch. Just to set my expectations straight. Um, I feel like the other services have given me more realistic ones than two to five in a given batch. The other ones have given me maybe 50% of them were more um, realistic and resembled my actual face more than, what is this one called? Profile Bakery? Yeah. So Profile Bakery, I would say maybe not because it gives you so few. Look, in the end, you only need one picture. So if you can get even just one picture out of a batch, that's great, right? Because you only need one for your LinkedIn and to use across all of your profiles. But the other services give you so much more. So I think this would be further down the list. It's not definitely not number one, but I guess also not, not the worst. You know, I think the worst I have seen was Vidnas. Definitely don't recommend that one. All right, that's it for you guys today. <laughs> if you want to see the results from the other AI headshot generators, you can go to my website, annieyangfinancial.com, head over to the book resources and scroll down to chapter 16 and go to the AI headshot generators. And here you will find this article that I will be continually updating for the next two weeks as I get the results from the other AI headshot generators. And if you like today's content and you're finding this really valuable and you find that my advice will actually help you on your career search, then head on over to annieanfinancial.com and get my book, The Five Day Job Search. If you're not sure whether you want to get the book yet or not, you can listen to the audio book for free. It's five hours long, just head over to the audiobook section, type in your name, your email address, and click email me a copy, and you can download the five-hour audiobook. Now, granted, after you listen to it, you're going to realize this is chock full of so much valuable information. You're going to want to get the actual physical book because there's going to be so much information. You need to reference the book because the way it's going to work is you're going to Apply and implement, then go back. Apply and implement, then go back to your book. So to get the signed paperback copy, just head on over to the homepage of annieandfinancial.com and then click this orange button, buy my signed copy now. 
and then add it to your shopping cart. And upon checkout, you can use the coupon code WIN, W-I-N, to get a 10% off discount on the signed paperback copy. That's all I have for you guys today. If you really enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.